Hi, I'm Sunitha Prince, and welcome to the African American Heritage Festival, the official beginning of summer. Why is this so important for our community? Well, it's important always to remember. History has a way of repeating itself, and if you don't understand where you've come from and how you got here, you'll never know where you're going. So we do this festival in a very peaceful way, interacting and celebrating the life, the art, the culture, the history, and the education, and the legacy of black people. We had to recruit almost 250 to 300 volunteers to support the festival, because that's what we are, the support. We help in every single area from the backstage all the way through to the children's tent. So a lot of different people brought in groups to help support the festival this year, which is really what we needed. It takes a lot to deal with the kids. You got to have a lot of patience. You got to have the good volunteers, a good co-chair, and they come, they have fun, they eat food, and they go home and everybody's happy. This event, being it only three days long, takes months and months of preparation. The coordinators who we work with very closely every year, um, we help to put the official souvenir guide for uh, African American Heritage Festival, this goes off pretty well. It gets somewhere between 400 to 500,000 uh, people, not just African Americans, but uh, people all across from Maryland, D.C., Virginia. I've known that they've gotten people as far as uh, is New York and, and Philadelphia as well. It's a time to give back to the community and to show the world that we can become one um, and have a good time doing it. Every year, the African American Heritage Festival offers three days of tight packed entertainment from R&B artists to dancers and even games. And sometimes it can be pretty confusing. Thankfully, the Afro broke it all down in its new issue of Trends, the official guide of the African American Heritage Festival. Let's go check out some of the acts. Shopping is perhaps the largest attraction here at the African American Heritage Festival. Clothing, jewelry, artwork, they have it all. This, this, uh, this event right here is huge for me. Every year you get a well over between 60 to 100,000 people coming here. So you get a lot of exposure and it's, you know, it's, it's really popular for artists to come here. Yeah, it's a lovely festival, uh, great food, great people and great entertainment. So, and it makes our booths very good. Here we have um, Kenyan bracelets. Most of our bracelets are from Kenya. They're made out of bone. I think my biggest, my biggest concern is uh, just a message. So pe it's easy for people to relate to the type of life people live uh, over there. So if that message can go across, that's all matter for me. Now a festival is not a festival without food. And after hours of shopping and listening to music, attendees can come here and choose from an array of food that is as diverse as the people here. You will never be in a bigger, cooler crowd than you are this weekend. There are people of all generations, lots of good music, lots of families. Events like this help kind of uh, support and bolster and enhance 
community identity, heritage, pride in heritage and culture. So uh, they're very valuable events and they're fun as well. I think that the uh, community uh, is um, doing something for itself. And um, I just noticed now that uh, the participating in some marches have been here. Every year has been greater and greater, and I'm, we'll keep coming here too. I actually came down from New York. Um, I love coming to these kinds of events because I like to see my people unified. You know what I mean? I like to see the culture. I mean, I like to see people learning about their culture. That's the kind of thing I like. They had old school yesterday, and they had, you know, the reggae, the jazz, and the poetry today. So, yeah, it got, gives them a different flavor of different music and culture, and they're getting together and having a ball. It's, I think it's great that people come together for anything, you know, and so I think that, you know, this is, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to be able to like, you know, sample some new food and, uh, you know, see some of the vendors selling, you know, selling uh, whatever and, and, you know, maybe meet a few people. So I think any experience where you can uh, get a chance to buy some, some clothes and buy some things for the house is a good one. I just like to see a lot of people who's come out and have a good time and want to listen to the music and get some um, island food and get, just, just have a good time. I think it's good. It brings about unity, brings about togetherness, you know, expressing yourself, your Afrocentric side, and getting in touch with your culture. When you bring all of these different programs together and people can see that there are money-making opportunities out here, child care opportunities, ways to get out and vote, that's what they need to see. So it's good to have all of this in one spot. It worked out nicely that it's on Father's Day this year because a lot of fathers are out with their families. And it's a great place for the kids because there's so many things for them to see and do. As you see this year, you have Asian Americans, you have Hispanic Americans, and you have, of course, European Americans mingling in with African Americans and getting to see the beauty of black culture from a positive standpoint. It's just cool to get out and see people doing things that they love to do and that are important to the community and so it's kind of fun to get out and just be a part of it. I think it's great for the image of the city to be able to celebrate different cultures and let people express themselves and their cultures and the things that are important to them and sort of share it with other people in the city. It's a very like open, accessible thing for anybody to come out. One of the things that we get a chance to do is uh, collaborate with one another, network with one another, and get a chance to meet people that we haven't met before in the community, get a chance to see the beauty of our people and understand how great we are as a people. With a message of hope, with a message of pride, with a message of caring. This is a family festival. And so that's why you can see grandmothers and young bucks standing beside one another. And that's why we don't have problems, and that's why we respect each other. And that's why this has been such a dignified event year after year. You make me proud. Because they said we couldn't do it. They said it wouldn't happen. They said people wouldn't show up, and they said they wouldn't be respectful. But here you are, all over again. You're wonderful. You are wonderful. Hey, everybody, as you can see, it is crazy down here. If you missed this year's African American Heritage Festival, you missed a treat. But don't worry, it will be back next year. In the meantime, I'm Sunitha Prince, signing off for the Afro-American Newspapers.